Hi, I'm Helen McAteer, Chief Executive of the Psoriasis Association, and joining me today are Professor Catherine Smith and Dr. Sapphire Marhill from the St. John's Institute of Dermatology to tell us more about So Protect Me. So what is So Protect Me and why is it important? Well, we set up So Protect Me to understand how COVID-19 affects people with psoriasis. It's an online registry aimed at collecting information about people with psoriasis ranging from very mild to very severe, um, of any age and in any country. And the reason we've set it up is because we know so little about how COVID-19 impacts on psoriasis. Uh, and in particular, many of the treatments that we use for psoriasis affect the immune system. And so we really don't know at this moment whether or not these treatments are harmful or beneficial in people with psoriasis who have COVID-19. So this makes it very difficult for um, people with psoriasis to know whether it's safe to continue with their treatment. And it also makes it difficult to, for doctors to give um, advice because we've got no information. Um, and that's why we've set up So Protect Me to try and really answer those questions. Who should take part in So Protect Me? We want anyone with psoriasis, adults and children, to take part. Whether or not you have um, had COVID-19 or not, whether your psoriasis is very severe or very mild, whether you're taking uh, treatments, uh, tablets, injections, creams and ointments, or even if you're not taking any treatment at all, we really do want to hear from everybody who has got a diagnosis of psoriasis. So not just newly diagnosed patients, people that could have been living with psoriasis for 30, 40 years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Every, everyone, everyone. So how can people take part um, and what will they need to do? So, so it's very simple. Um, so we have a website, which is soprotectme.org. Um, and that opens up a survey and the survey is very simple and very easy to complete, mostly tick boxes. And it takes about five, between about five or 10 minutes to complete. Um, the survey is, um, it will ask very simple questions about your psoriasis um, from sort of what type of psoriasis. There are questions about the treatments that they're on for psoriasis. Um, and importantly, their experiences during the pandemic. So we're keen to hear about um, how people's psoriasis has behaved during the pandemic. Has it got worse, stayed the same or got better? And similarly, if you've suffered from COVID-19, then there are a number of questions about your experiences during the infection how it affected you, what symptoms you had, um, perhaps how, what sort of treatment you needed, whether you needed to go to hospital. If you have suffered from COVID-19, we ask that you wait for at least two weeks um, uh, uh, from the onset of your symptoms before you fill in the survey. Upon completing the form, you're given a unique So Protect Me survey reference, and we ask you to keep that safe um, because should your circumstances change, for example, you filled in the form when you were well and at a later point you then um, suffered from COVID, we would ask that uh, you provide that survey reference um, and then uh, tell us about it um, by filling in another form. So patients um, could revisit the form um, if they were to catch COVID-19 um, after completing the survey initially? Yes, we're very keen to hear from people uh, if they've uh, filled it in when they're well and then were unlucky enough to become unwell with COVID-19. We would definitely want those individuals to revisit the survey and it's been configured so that you, there are a series of questions we're able to identify those people and as Satvia says, it's really helpful if you've um, taken note of your original So Protect Me identification number because it means we can link the two response survey um, entries together, which is particularly helpful. 
So how will individuals' information be stored um, and, and can they withdraw it if um, they change their mind about taking part in So Protect Me at a later date? Well, to answer the second bit first, they are, of course, free to withdraw from the study at any point. Um, and that is clear on the Frequently Asked Questions website about how they would do that. Uh, to the answer to the first part, um, the data is all stored securely. Uh, and this is obviously very important. We take this aspect very seriously and we only store and use the data in line with all the regulatory requirements and ethical framework that we've um, developed for this project. And because we know people uh, are interested and concerned to know about the detail of this, we've developed a frequently asked question um, site on the website and we hope that that addresses all the specifics um, around this area, which is obviously very, very important. And if that doesn't answer all the questions that people are concerned about, there's also an email on the website, uh, which we look at all the time. So we're very happy to answer any additional questions that people may have. So if people do have any further questions about So Protect Me, um, they should visit the soprotectme.org website um, where there is also an email address um, there should exactly. they have any further questions. Um, but a very helpful um, FAQ section um, as well. One other question I've had uh, commonly is has has uh, industry got anything to do with this this is just to emphasize is completely independent from industry and only uh, researchers approved under the ethics are able to access data to address the specific research questions um, that we've presented to our ethical committee I think that the, the, the that we've got some three really strong points coming out um, is then the first one is that everyone with psoriasis no matter how mild or severe your psoriasis is we would really like you all to take part in so protect me um, and in order to take part in so protect me um, go to so protect me.org um, there will also be links on the Psoriasis Association website if you need them. And then the third point is once you have taken part in So Protect Me, do please keep your unique ID number somewhere safe just in case you need to revisit um, the survey um, or if you want further information at a later date. That's right. And just to say thank you in advance to everyone for taking part uh, because really in order to address these questions we really really do need your help so thank you very much